In honor of the 75th anniversary of legendary ball player Jackie Robinson's debut, mm -hmm. some of Robinson's most famous memorabilia is going up for auction. Okay. And that story kicks off today's trending stories. These are our hot topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. 75 years ago, Robinson appeared for the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking baseball's color barrier and becoming one of the most influential sports icons the world has ever mm -hmm. seen. Robinson won National League MVP in 1949 and a World Series in 1955. The jersey that Robinson wore, as well as his own personal baseball bat, a bat oh. that hung on a wall in Robinson's house for years, will be going up for auction. This makes for a rare opportunity where both a legendary piece of sports history and American history will be up for sale. I love that. I'm wondering how crazy the auction is going to get as far yes. as, like, numbers. Yeah, yeah, as far as the price going up and <laughs> up and up much, and up. How uh, these items are going to go for? Surely, if you're a sports memorabilia collector, yes. I mean... You'd have probably talk of millions and millions of dollars here. So, yeah. super cool. I didn't realize today was uh, Jackie Robinson oh, no. Day. Very, very nice. cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. All right, well, billionaire Elon Musk has his sites and his wallet on a social media platform. Musk offered to uh, buy Twitter, check this out, yeah. uh, for $41 billion, or if you want to break that down to just regular dealer person like me, uh, $54.20 okay. per share. share. In a letter to Twitter's chairman, Musk wrote in part, uh, Twitter needs to be transformed as a private company. He then went on to say, my offer is my best and final offer, and if it is not accepted, I would need to reconsider my position as a shareholder. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Must recently uh, turn down an offer to join Twitter's board of directors. He's got over 80 million followers on Twitter. That's like more than like super popular servers like yeah. Ariana Grande, Kim Kardashian, probably more than the Twitter founders. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you want to lose as a shareholder, but also you can't force me to buy my company. I know. It's mine. All, all you need is like a bazillion dollars to have a bunch of Twitter oh, followers. That's what I've That's learned. it? Yeah, that's it. It's almost fake money. <laughs> as they say. A special mint julep at this year's Kentucky Derby may set you back a few bucks, mm. speaking of money, but it is for a good cause. Okay. 18 mint juleps will be served in gold cups that will sell for $2,500 and 130 silver cups that will sell for $1 thousand dollars. Is that all? That's it. No Pocket problem. change. Elon right? Musk can buy all of those for us. Yes. He can, if he doesn't get in on Twitter, yeah. he should buy us all a round Agreed. of juleps. Agreed. I think. This is a 148th run for the roses. The cups feature red rubies in the shape of a horseshoe. The proceeds will benefit Old Friends Farm, which is home to retired thoroughbreds, including some Aww. past derby winners. Oh, super cool. Okay, so we were just talking about uh, movies coming to theater. Here's one coming to a screen near you. Nicolas Cage plays fictional versions of him himself in a new comedy. <laughs> so in the film, a financially strapped uh, Cage admits, uh, accepts a million dollars to attend a birthday party for a super fan. Uh, but the situation takes kind of a wild yes, turn right. uh, when a CIA operative recruits Cage on an unusual mission, taking on the role of a lifetime. He soon finds himself channeling his most iconic character. So the movie, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, hits theaters April 22nd, also starring uh, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Ike Barron holds Neil Patrick Harris, which yes. is going to be hilarious. Love, Love him. It. And Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. Going to be great stuff. You yeah. got to check that one out.